<laughs> so we completed Sarveshwaran the mm. Purushottam Linga and Lakshmi Linga sections. So this is Sarveshwaran the Brahma Linga section. Uh, words in neuter gender ending with Sarveshwaras. So <laughs> we'll begin with a word ending with Arama. And example taken is Gokula Shabda. So again, Aramanto Krishna Sangya. Uh, previously, it was said that any word ending with Vamana A uh, is Krishna Sangya. So this Gokula also is Krishna Sangya. So Brahma Krishna So Aram. So now any Krishna word in Brahma Linga is called Brahma Krishna Shabda. Brahma Krishna. So that makes it clear. So Brahma Krishna refers to words ending with Arama and uh, in neuter gender. So after a Brahma Krishna, Su is replaced by Am. So Gokula plus Su, Su is replaced with Am because it's Brahma Krishna and then the uh, Shavatara, the Am Shasor Arama Haraha. After the Shavatara, the A of Am is deleted. So we get Gokulam. So this is how we get 1.1 like Palam, Pustakam, Gokulam, all those neutral words. Uh, Su gets replaced with Am. Then Gokula plus Au to 1.2. So Radha, Brahma, Bhyam, Au, E. In Brahmalinga, after Brahmalinga Shabda, Au gets replaced with E through Vikrama E. And then we do the Sandhi, Advaim, by A. So we get Gokule. So Gokulam, Gokule. That's like Palam, Phale. Then Gokula plus Jas. Brahmato Jas Shasahoshi. So there are a few steps here. After Brahmalinga Shabda, Jas and Shas, 1.3 and 2.3, they are replaced by She. The Pratyas get replaced by She. Okay. That's number one. Replacement of Jas and Shas with She. So now we have Brahma, uh, sorry, Gokula plus She. Okay. Then Sarveshwara, Vaishnavanti or Nomshav. Words ending in a Sarveshwara and or Vaishnava take the Agamanum when she follows. Now, Gokula ends with Sarveshwara. That's a Rama. And we have she following. So it takes the Agamanum. So Num comes. Num is inserted in between. The Prakriti and the Pratyaya. So now we have Gokula plus Num uh, plus she. So then... The next sutra actually says where that noon will come exactly. So, Antya Sarveshwarat Param Mitahasthanam. This is important sutra. That the place of insertion for anything that has the indicatory letter Ma is after the final Sarveshwara. So, basically, like if we have a Prakriti and Pratyay, and if we are to insert anything, any Pratyay, which has the indicatory letter Ma, so it will come after the final Sarveshwara of the Prakriti. Now, in Gokula, the final Sarveshwara is a Rama. So, naturally, obviously, it comes after that. But let's say if we have a word, let's say Jagat. Jagat. Now, in Jagat, the final Sarveshwara is the a uh, preceding the Tarama. Right? So, in that case, this Num will come after the a, uh, basically inside that word. So, Jaga, Num, and T, the Ta of Jagat. So, this uh, Pratyay with the indicatory letter ma comes after the final Sarveshwara of a word. So here, Gokula plus Nom plus She. Antyat Purva Varna Uddhava Sangya. Now, this is a Sangya Sutra. The Varna which comes before the last Varna is called Uddhava. So basically, the second last letter in any word, it is called Uddhava. The second last letter is called Uddhava. For example, in my name, Parama. Or let's say Param ending with ma, the Uddhava would be a Rama, which is preceding ma. In Chandra, let's say, it would be like ra. Um, yeah, it, it would be ra preceding a. So like that Uddhava is the, the last, the second last letter. Is, is, is it Uddhava because he's like the penultimate devotee before the Braj devotees, so he's the second to last level of devotee. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is it? Hari Dasavarya? Is he? No, wait. No, he's. There's three levels of Hari Dasavarya. I forgot. Anyways, 
Is he the second one? I don't know. He's also Giriraj. mentioned as Haridas Varia. Yeah, yeah came from, there's Giriraj, Uddhav, and who is the third? Yudhishthira Maharaj. One? It doesn't explain that. Oh, Abrahma, Abrahma, Pandava, Shishta, Krishna, Sthana, Sangha. Again, a Sangha Sutra. Now, the Pandavas accept when they are in Brahma Linga. So, basically, Pandavas in Purushottam Linga and Pandavas in Lakshmi Linga. So, the Pandavas accept when they are in Brahma Linga and the Pratyayashi uh, are called Krishna Sthana. So, Krishna Sthana is the Sangha. The Pandavas in Purushottam Linga and Lakshmi Linga and the Pratyayashi, they are Krishna Sthana. So we learned Uddhava, we learned Krishna Sthana. Now the actual Vidhi Sutra comes here. <clears throat> so we are still doing 1.3, which is Gokula plus Jas, just replaced with She, then Noom comes. So now we have Gokula plus Noom plus She. Nanta <clears throat> Dhatu Varjita. Santa Satsanga Mahat Apam Uddhavasya Trivikrama Krishna Sthane Buddham Vina. Okay. Uh, let's look at the sutra. Nant. Nant means any prakriti ending with Narama. Any word ending with Narama. Then Dhatu Varjita Santa Satsanga. So a word which should not be a dhatu, uh, which has a satsanga, and that satsanga should end with sarama. Basically, a word which should not be a dhatu, ending with a satsanga, and at the end is sarama of that satsanga. Such a word. Then third, the word mahad, and fourth, the word up. Up means water. So these four categories, two words and two categories, nanta. So what happens there? Uh, apam Uddhavasya Trivikrama. So the Uddhava of these four words, or two words in two categories, uh, becomes Trivikrama when Krishna Sthana follows. But Buddha Mina, not in Buddha. For example, Gokula plus Jas. Now, Brahma to Jas, Shaso, She. After Brahma Linga Shabda, Jas is replaced with She. 158. Then, Sarveshwara Vaishnavantayur Numshav, 159, when she follows, Shav. So, and if the Prakriti is ending with either a Sarveshwara or a Vaishnava, then we will insert Num. And that Num will come after the final Sarveshwara of the Prakriti. So that's a Rama, so we just put the Num here. So this Num basically be becomes a part of the Prakriti, so we join them. It becomes like Gokulan plus E, the E of she. So now this Gokulan ends with Narama. So Nant. Now this becomes Nant. Word ending with Narama. So as per this sutra, now the Uddhava of Gokulan is Arama, right? The second last uh, letter. So as per this sutra, now she is following, which is a Krishna Sthana. So when a Krishna Sthana follows, <laughs> the Uddhava of this Nanta Shabda becomes Trivikrama. So it becomes Gokulan and then we combine it so it becomes Gokulani. Quite a process actually. <laughs> so, so this is how we get Gokulani or like Phalam Phale Phalani, Pustakam Pustake Pustakani, all those Yani Kani, Cha Papani, Brahma Hatyadi Kani Cha, you know all those uh, plural forms in neuter gender. <laughs> Tani Kani. So Gokulani. So again, we'll revisit. Uh, we have initially Gokula, the Prakriti, and the Pratyay, Jas. So Brahmato Jas, Shaso, She, Jas gets replaced with She, uh, because Gokula is a Brahmalinga Shabda. And after, so what happens then? If the Prakriti ends with Praveshwara or Vaishnava, and She follows, then we insert No. And then uh, the current sutra, if applicable. So we get Gokulam. So this is how it works. So Gokulam, Gokule, Gokulani, Gokulam, Gokule, Gokulani. The good thing is that 3.1 onwards, all the forms are like Krishna word here. 
गोकुलेन लृष्णेन कृष्णाभ्याम कृष्ण सो गोकुलेन गोकुलाभ्याम गोकुल एंड सोम नथिंग दिस द फर्स्ट टू केसेस प्रथम एंड द द्वितीय विभक्ति and in there also if we just do prathama vibhakti forms then dvitiya uh, case the second case forms are the same neuter gender for all the words so we just need to do actually 1 1 1 2 and 1 3 and then rest is done hridayasya hridya dushu va shirshasya shirshan vete ke now the word is hridaya and another word is um shirsha hridaya is heart shirsha is head so there are also neuter words uh, so it says the word hrida is optionally replaced by hrid when the yadus follow and some say that the word shirsha is optionally replaced by shirshan when the yadus follow so once they both will be declined like hridayam hridaye hridayani shirsham shirshe shirshani and so on and once when yadus follow then optionally the optional forms will be will be with hrid and shirshan the replacements so hridaya plus shas so when hridaya is not replaced we just get hridayani when we decline with hridayam hridaya and when hridaya gets replaced with hrid then hrid plus shi we insert num and num comes after ri rama because that's the final sarveshva of the prakriti so that's in between the hrid and then अविष्णु पदात नष्णुचक्र वैष्णव सो एक्चुअली दट्स द नेक्स्ट सूत्र बेसिकली दिस सूत्र से इज अविष्णु पदात नष्णुचक्र वैष्णव अ न राम और म राम दैट इज नॉट एट द एंड ऑफ विष्णुपद सो बेसिकली इफ वी हैव अ वर्ड विष्णुपद इन साइड विच वी हैव न राम और म राम आदर ऑफ दैम so they will become vishnu chakra when a vaishnava immediately follows them when a vaishnava a letter immediately follows them that then the na or ma rama will become a vishnu chakra so for example here hmm <clears throat> this three we insert the na of nom and then the so we have this na rama inside a vishnu pada and immediately we have a vaishnava following so this na becomes a vishnu chakra and then we apply um, the sutra vishnu chakra se hari venu aur vishnu varge vishnu padanta se tuva so that's from the sandhi rules the vishnu chakra becomes the hari venu of the following letters varga so the next letter is the that belongs to ta varga so ta Th, the, the, na, the Hari Venu. So it becomes uh, Hindi. You must be thinking why the form is the same actually. So why was the need to do it into uh, Avishnu Chakra and then? I... <laughs> so in grammar, the thing is, hmm, we have to apply the sutras as far as they are applied. You know, as far as so. so yeah hrindi and hridayani two forms so likewise when mm, yadus are there then optional forms will be there for both hrit and 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 shirshan shirshan Okay, we won't be able to. So, I was thinking we complete this section. This is a small section, not not a big. Okay, we'll stop here. Ah, um, uh, yeah. So please do practice, and we'll continue tomorrow. Not with grammar, but ah, with them. <laughs> we were we did we did till nibritta darsha previously so we'll begin with resume with the fourth the fifth verse actually the fifth <clears throat> okay so yeah you're most welcome tomorrow
सेम टाइम प्रभु जी Uh, when we finished the um, Salveshwaranta section and we took a little 